New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be taking a look at a plasma cutter. This particular plasma cutter is the Cut 50 DF and it is sold by Viver. Now I did reach out to Viver and I asked them if they had an affordable plasma cutter that they could send us that we could take a look at. I was really looking for a budget friendly plasma cutter that didn't cost a lot of money but something that was reliable and something that would cut fairly thick metal. The Cut 50 DF sells for under $200 at the time of this video. Video. If I can find any discounts, I will put a link down below in the description. The plasma cutter itself is extremely easy to set up. The only thing you really have to do out of the box is connect a regulator. There is a set of instructions that tells you how to do that, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. This plasma cutter will operate on 110 volts AC or 220 volts AC. We're going to be using it today on 110 volts. Operation is extremely simple. There's a power button which turns it on and off. There is a display that tells you how many amps you are configured to use. There is a dial that turns those amps up and down. The Cut 50 is 50 amps and there is an air pressure gauge that you can watch as well from the front of the unit which makes this very handy. Connecting all the cables only go in one way so you won't have any trouble there and this does have pilot arc which I was excited to see on a budget friendly plasma cutter and you do connect that wire right there. A quick explanation of what pilot arc is is some plasma cutters require you to drag the tip onto the metal to start the arc. Some of the more expensive ones you pull the trigger and they automatically start that arc. What that does is it prevents you from from burning the tip up prematurely. Now I have the machine turned on and I have set it to 30 amps. We're gonna cut 1 8 inch steel. I figure 30 amps is a good place to start it out at. And I have the PSI set to 60. So let's go ahead and make a cut and see how well it does. Now because this machine has pilot arc, that means you don't have to drag the tip across the metal to get the arc started. We can use these little guides here as training wheels. At least that's what I like to call them. Basically, you can place them directly on the metal. It'll keep the tip at the right distance from the piece of metal and it'll prevent you from tearing the tips up. And remember, you do need to use eye protection when you're using a plasma cutter. I think the manual says somewhere around shade nine. Personally, I always use something a little bit darker, but that's up to you. And again, consult the manual for your safety. And as you can see, despite my shakiness, it did a fairly clean cut. Now you can straight edge these and get a much better cut. And as you can see, it did a much better job with my shaky hands using a straight edge. Now there are different techniques that different people will use. You can turn the amps up and go really quick, or you can turn those amps down and go really slow. Some people prefer a little more air than others. So with all these settings, you're just going to want to kind of fine tune for your liking. Now I got to admit for a budget friendly plasma cutter, I am really impressed. It does the job and it seems to do it rather well. I am extremely excited to see Pilot Arc on an inexpensive plasma cutter. If in the future I find any problems with this machine, I will put them down below in the comments. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.